So lately on the channel, we've been looking at really basic submissions and just kind of the finishing mechanics of them uh, because I feel like so often when you're first starting jujitsu and you're just learning to grapple, you're actually landing in certain submissions um, just throughout the night as you roll, especially if you get to roll with beginners. And if you don't know how to finish them, it really doesn't matter. And the best way to kind of create avenues to finishing people is to get that positive response of getting those submissions. So then every time you're going, okay, well, when I pass the guard this way, sometimes it leads to an R bar, okay? And so today we're going to look at the straight ankle lock. We're gonna look at just two really basic ideas. And this is something when I teach a private lesson, when I teach a seminar, this is always going to be the first thing that I cover. And it's because so few people uh, actually know how to finish the straight ankle lock without using a ton of strength, okay? And so if I have John right here, and we're gonna look at a basic straight ankle lock. You see a lot of straight ankle locks, they focus on where kind of the placement is on um, like what my, where my arm is touching the ankle. I don't focus on that as much. Instead, I actually just like to focus on being deep and being in contact with the entire ankle. Instead of having my elbow flared or hands high, and those are really good ways to finish a straight ankle lock, but just for me personally, um, I've been liking going deep and just trying to get a bite on the whole ankle. And from here, now I need to either control his knee or his hip, ideally get some control on both. And so all I'm gonna do with that is kind of just suck up space to control those. And so when we look at our standard straight ankle lock, this is a ton of space for him to be able to move around. Even if I had my body in the right position to actually finish this, he's gonna be able to kind of follow me when I start to go to finish this because he has that mobility. If I suck up this space, so I put my hips in, I pinch my knees a little more, now there's way less space there. Now when I go to finish, if he goes to follow me, he really just can't. He stays in the same position, okay? And so the other thing that we're looking at, I'm controlling the whole ankle, but this is kind of the most important thing with finishing, is actually gaining control of the person's toes. So what you can have your partner do when you first start doing this is just move his toes up and down. Notice how he can move his toes up and down. When he does that, that means I don't have control. So keep them moving and we'll see how far I actually have to go back. Oh, are they, can you move them? Okay, so that must mean that if I put my hips in, I'm gonna be able to get that finish really, really easily, okay? And so how you're looking at this basic finish is always going to be that, but this idea translates to so many other places. When I look at a K-guard straight ankle lock, I control the knee and I make sure that there's no space in the crook of his knee, okay? But what's cool about this is if he wiggles his toes, Notice I won't have to actually scoop my body out. When he keeps wiggling, I just extend this leg to get to the end of his toes and that's how I can get my finish. And that is again why I'm not having to actually put my arm in any weird awkward position I'm just able to hug is because we're actually controlling the joints that we're trying to break. And so this is how I look at the straight ankle lock lately and it's really helpful for me, it's really helpful for my guys, maybe it'll be helpful for you guys.